people always ask me, what diseases am I passionate about? And you know, I always like to be an advocate for the orphan diseases because it's almost like a David and Goliath. I need to get the word out there. And you know, one of my previous videos, I mentioned scleroderma, but there's another disease out there that's just as important to me and it's called sarcoid. sarcoid. And when we talk about sarcoid, it can affect anyone. But here in the United States, it affects women. It affects African Americans. But in the world, you know who's the most common race affected by sarcoid? It's Scandinavian individuals from Norway, from Sweden, from Denmark. But in my sarcoid clinic, you name it, Indian, Filipino, Latino. So sarcoid doesn't avoid anyone. And when we talk about sarcoid, it can affect every single organ in the body. And most people who see me for sarcoid, you know, initially it's found by accident. And unfortunately they probably get an imaging, probably of the chest, and they see some kind of lump or bump or mass. And the first thought is, uh-oh, it's cancer. Or the second thought is, uh-oh, it's some kind of horrible infection, like a fungal infection, like tuberculosis. But in fact, you know what I mean, after we rule those things out, they find out they have sarcoid, but then they look it up and say, uh oh, what's sarcoid? So I want you to actually check out my beyondthepearls.net because I could talk about sarcoid for hours. But what's gonna be my pearl for the day? It's gonna be talking about a very specific syndrome called Loth Green Syndrome. So who knows what Loth Green Syndrome is? I got you right there, didn't I? Well, some of you. So there's three things of Lofgren syndrome. It's gonna be people who come in with the skin findings right here on the shins called erythema nodosum. Now, erythema nodosum is not pathognomonic for sarcoid. We can see that in many diseases, it's like, like the fungal disease, coccidioides emetus, like many autoimmune diseases like lupus. So many things can cause erythema nodosum. The second part, of Lofgren syndrome is in the chest. You get hyalur fullness. fullness. When you shoot that chest x-ray, the hilum is engorged. Why? It's because you have these lymph nodes in the hilum that are gonna be very, very big. And the last part of the syndrome is gonna be you have joint, joint pain, pain, whether it's gonna be arthritis or arthralgias. So if you have those three things, you have a Lofgren syndrome. And in the olden days, and yes, I hate saying that, that you could diagnose sarcoid, acute sarcoid, if you had that triad. But what's my take home message? Sarcoid is a rare disease. Before I deem anyone to have sarcoid, I want to prove it through a biopsy. I want to rule out what? Cancer. I want to rule out what? Infection. So I would like to biopsy the easiest thing possible. But almost everyone who has sarcoid, the most common organ infected is the lung. So I tend to see a lot of these sarcoid patients and I do procedures like bronchoscopies where I put a fiber optic tube down the trachea to get some biopsies. But it's very important because it is a rare disease. So even though you can make a clinical diagnosis with the classic triad, the Lofgren syndrome, if you're just gonna monitor these patients, sure, that's fine. But the minute I decide to treat, even if they had the classic you know, triad of the Lofgren syndrome, I want tissue. Because I'm gonna commit these patients to what? Steroids. I'm gonna commit these patients to what? Immunosuppressive medications. And I wanna make sure it's the correct diagnosis. So that's gonna be my pearl for today. And like I said, check out my website, beyondthepearls.net. There's gonna be links to the podcast and there's gonna be sarcoid chapters aplenty in the books that you're gonna have access to. We have this amazing quiz for the USMLE to see what type of test taker are you? If you wanna find out what study type you might be, you know what? Take that quiz, find out. I'm telling you, it's gonna help you out, organize your thought process, and eventually get the score you want on your board exams. I hope you enjoyed today's pearl.